Welcome to this uh, particular video. I, uh, I do like the sound of the gong. And, uh, for those who have been following me and who um, <clears throat> following our little adventure in the Zoom meetings with gong meditation, and uh, it's kind of loose at the moment, but we will be doing some harmonic work some vibrational work with the idea of the gong and that resonant frequency that it carries as a tool for helping to focus the mind and keep the mind uh, still on its inner sense of I. This video, however, is not a gong video. This video is about the world the nature of the world, the world's governments, the situations that world governments seem to put us in. And I want to frame the whole video under the idea that there is no world, there is only a dream of a world, an illusion of a world, a situation seemingly realistically appearing in front of uh, mind, in front of consciousness, that actually does nothing more than reflect back like a mirror ideas about oneself according to um, the perception of yourself that you have. If you think you are a body, you will um, be reflected back all of the witnesses within the framework of your world experience that endorse and support the notion of the idea that you're a body if you walk this world from spirit in faith then those witnesses will support you as you go the qualification i have and i'm going to call it a qualification for a second in this video there's no piece of paper there's no colleges to attend there is a sort of a rite of passage i suppose but my single qualification that I have for making this video and for uh, declaring myself to this world is that uh, in this world, I have achieved the state of enlightenment. And that's quite a funny thing. I have achieved a state of higher consciousness wherein an experience that I have had of direct union with God and a subsequent mind training period that I underwent, which expires this year, or has expired this year, being almost the end of the year, um, has allowed me to integrate that experience and the information downloaded through that experience into my being in this vessel, through this vessel, with this vessel, um, that I'm using to now carry the message of salvation as Jesus Christ carried it uh, just over 2,000 years ago. Um, it's a very tricky subject to talk about to the uninitiated and to even those who are partly initiated and those who are pursuing their uh, unfoldment, let's say. Uh, but talk about it we must because words are the symbols that prior have been used to deny reality deny the eternal realm in order to maintain a certain vigilance and uh, fascination with the physical realm and so through those same symbols through those same words 
we will come to a preliminary understanding, hopefully a reasonable understanding of the nature of life, the universe and everything. I was reading a small excerpt from one of my teachers. He's been uh, gone from the planet, from the dimension now for uh, some years, but I was reading a small excerpt from some of his writings yesterday, which prompted me to want to make this video regarding authority and how the authority that I, and I'll keep my finger on my nose here, keep it singular, the authority that I give away outside of myself to governments and institutions and situations um, can only ever be in the ignorance of my true self, in the ignorance of my remembrance of the truth of life, the universe and everything, a false authority. Fundamentally, I find myself in a place where I do not know the meaning of life, and I'm talking uh, introspectively here. Uh, I do not know the meaning of life. Um, I don't know why I'm here, what the purpose of the planet is, etc. And so I go about like a bull in a china shop, establishing laws and rules based on uh, things I've read and other understandings I have in order to try and maintain some sense of order in a place where everything is constantly changing and there is no real order anywhere. Um, so that being said, with all authority being false, being illusion, being illusory, being an illusion of authority, true authority is of God. And God is very, very simple. <laughs> the authority of God uh, is commensurate with understanding his will and his will is perfect happiness. His will is universal love. <clears throat> and I talk about God as a him. You could just as easily talk about God as uh, the force or God as the great I am or uh, anything, the creator, uh, the singular source of all life. And I don't particularly uh, think that I'm going to get into the nature of um, how life on earth can possibly exist if God is formless and God is all-encompassing and God is everything creating in its own likeness. But there we go, I just did. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> rather, I think, I will focus the tone of this video and the message of this video on helping those of you who struggle with the nature of false authority, authority that has been set up under a long regime and a long historic uh, procession of um, politicians and uh, wise people and uh, all of that sort of stuff <laughs> to bring us to where we are today, wherein the greatest minds on the planet have as a recourse to success or as a recourse to peace, a, a arsenal of nuclear warheads capable of destroying all life on the planet. <laughs> An illusion of destroying all life on the planet. And I know I'm laughing at that and it sounds kind of funny, but uh, there is no such thing as death. And if you have read the Bible, um, it's just one little sentence, there is no death, I think it's in the book of Matthew, um, which is Jesus' uh, assertion and having completed his own atonement mission on earth wherein he was crucified, laid to rest in the tomb and rose again through the Spirit three days later, um, you can now take up for yourself a process of mental discipline and devotion and application of the principles that he used uh, to prove to yourself through witnessing to the change in your own relationships that his message was a true one. <laughs> it's a funny thing to think that 
one person on the planet or a group of people on the planet who can get together and uh, decide what's in the best interests of everybody else and yet not perceive their own best interests uh, inclusive of that is, uh, it's hilarious really. It's pathetic, but it's hilarious. It's typical of the human condition that um, tries to establish precedents and benchmarks for all sorts of things and yet has no understanding of the meaning of life. <laughs> so this video, I would like you to share it. I would like you to send it out as wide as it can go. Let's make it go viral if we can and put it out everywhere. Because right now you have an illuminated mind, someone who has realized the divine nature of life right here present with you in your dream telling you that in my own discovery of the meaning of life i have realized that we are beings of an eternal nature that we are the spirit and not the flesh and that this world is not our home and that our best interests on the planet are served by our own process of mastering the state of inner peace that can only done be done through um, the application of the principles that Jesus admonished in his ministry all those years ago, as every illumined mind has done uh, through the activity of forgiveness and compassion, of caring and giving and receiving and being willing to recognize that we are all in this same boat together and that the nature of salvation encompasses all living things, all humanity, all material effects of the original idea of separation from source. Everything is included as the conscious receptors, as the conscious um, mechanisms by which we report back to the higher mind, the nature of the state of consciousness as being something that is now rising up in this thing we call the awakening, each of us has a very important part to play. It is our own awakening. It is our own illumination, our own experience of our divinity that extracts our sequential association within the framework of humanity and reinstalls us in a healed capacity in order to begin to represent that which the world was originally designed to support the remembering of but which initially was something that was forgotten by the mind which is truth. So I'm asking you with all my heart for you, for the greater good and inclusive of me, I guess, as this individual capacity to maintain and continue to, uh, to teach and to offer this universal curriculum. I'm asking you to share this video and to tag all your friends to make as much effort as you can to spread it around the planet because the time has come for your awakening. And if you are watching this video, this is an invitation to it. I encourage you, if you're slightly even interested, to go online and look up uh, A Course in Miracles, which is a universal spiritual text, workbook and teacher's manual designed for the re-education of the Western mind specifically, but it has been translated into many languages, but designed for the re-education and the reawakening of the Western mind to its inherent truth, to its evolutionary destiny as a transitioning being, let's say for a second, uh, seeing itself as homo sapien and transitioning to homo illumina which in this realm, in this third dimensional frame, in this third dimensional sphere, 
is the greatest and the only transition possible for the species. Uh. <laughs> I'm just getting a prompt from on high. So please do whatever you can and see this service that I ask you to do for me as part of the service to yourself and to your brotherhood, to your fraternity, to your whatever it is you see the universal world of living form as. The family of man, perhaps. I love you. The time has come. This is it. There's not another moment. This is it. Step in, step up, play your part and uh, begin to do whatever you can to help facilitate, lubricate, if you like, the advent of your awakening through the integration and application of the principles of the universal curriculum, however it comes to you. It may not come to you through A Course in Miracles. It may come other ways, but it is very auspicious that A Course in Miracles now is here 50 years. And uh, the um, availability of it is now across the board, uh, worldwide available. I don't even know how to talk about it. I'm not really a, a, an expert in the dissemination and distribution of uh, the particular forms of uh, the course as it's available today. But I will tell you that it's available. And um, my dearest heart and brother Tina will um, put links down below for the free PDF version, um, several useful websites where you can get a hands-on physical version if that's the way you like to do things, etc. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the awakening. Thanks for being consciously active in it. And uh, I'll see you in the light. Peace.